Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Computer Tips and Programming and this is your 11th lecture for the Java Complete Training and here we are going to know about the static keyword and already I have introduced about the static uh, string and function so this is a very important topic related to your interview also because uh, these are the basic things they will ask to you and you have already uh, listened in your uh, means already you have seen in your uh, program also before this static so let's understand little more about this and this is just remember this is for interview purpose and understanding purpose only no need to just mug up anything okay so uh, what's our main motto of this uh, uh, this uh, training is to get clear with the basics ideas about the programming and all so you can easily just clear your interview also okay so let's understand from the as a definition like a static keyword is a non access modifier and used for the method and attributes a static method attributes can be accessed without creating an object of a class and a static keyword in java used for the memory management mainly okay these are the part things let's understand we can use the static keyword with our variables methods also and uh, okay and these are the things to remember um, basically and this is for uh, me memory management only for some time it's uh, hold the memory also in a class okay that's also only not outside the class okay so now let's start so here i have used the static and here i have used the static for uh, our variables and for method also so here you can see i have created two variables integer type variable and which is static this one and this is the non static okay and here i have initialized their value also okay so in this method this method is a non static method okay where i have initialized the value and this is a static method where i have initialized the value okay and both have the different different like uh, name okay set is static where okay i have and the static demo okay these are the things i have initialized one more thing uh, as an interview purpose i will tell you to just here understand if i will just remove this comment line what will happen it will show the error and what the error is coming like cannot make a static reference to the non static field okay what it mean because whenever you are going to create any static method in the static method we cannot pass any what like uh, we cannot pass any non static okay non static variable but in non static method you can pass static as well as uh, non static also okay let's uh, me repeat again let me repeat again to understanding in a static method you can pass only static variables okay but in non static method you can pass both static and non static okay and here i have used the increase method to increase the value okay of a static variable and uh, a non static variable and here i have used the display okay to display our the value of the static and non static variable let's come to our main class this is our the main class under school 11 static demo okay and i have created here main method with the public static void main method okay and here i have created the two um, objects also okay using the new keyword okay these are two objects and uh, here i am going to increase the value st1 okay and st1 dot display and this st1 is going to display the value increase the value two times for a static and non static both and here s2 is going to increase the value for both a static and non static three times so we will understand what is this meaning to write like this way and this way okay here value is going to increase two times for a static non static remember here value is going to increase two times a static non static here is three times a static and non static so how this the value is going to increase this is important to understand okay so let's run this one run as java application okay let me save this one and run java application and this is very important topic because last time uh, in last i will discuss one more thing related to this which is very important for the like your live task also okay so you can see it here value of the static varies to value of non static varies to because in starting the value was zero i have in a slice okay and it increases two times okay because uh, here i have increased st1 dot increase st1 dot increase st1 dot display so here is static and non static both are increased by two times but here you will see a static increase up to five and this one up to three why this happen because whenever i am going for a static the same instant is going to call and it's increasing well because it's starting it was increases to and then again it's increasing means it went to 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 4 to 5 three times okay but whenever you are going to call any non static we are going to increase the non static so it's call it's calling different instance two times 
separate instance okay like here is separate instance here is a separate so here it increases one to two because we increase two times and here increases three times okay because uh, again it started from zero zero to one one to two two to three i hope you understand this one okay